We used to watch discussions about the Tesla bot with topics like, will you buy a $30,000 Tesla bot? If so, what tasks will you make it perform for you? Most of the responses were quite different from what we had imagined. We thought that the majority wouldn't be interested or trust the utility of humanoid robots at this point in time. However, to our surprise, most responses indicated that people wanted to purchase at least two Optimus bots, one to handle outdoor tasks and the other to take care of all household duties. Ideas about business applications for Optimus, like renting it out or deploying it in restaurants, were also very common. This has led us to believe that the Tesla bot has genuinely convinced people and increased their confidence that humanoid robots are beginning to align closely with real-world needs. In our opinion, this is reasonable, as Optimus's useful tasks have already been demonstrated, tasks that it can complete in just two minutes. Why is it capable of this? Let's explore the Tesla bot in detail right now. Welcome to EV Tech Channel. Before we begin, please help us get to 135 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to keep bringing you great episodes about Tesla bots, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. Thank you. We've never seen Elon so serious about a product as he is with the Tesla bot. Evidence of this can be found in the fact that Tesla's electric vehicles are often upgraded, improved, or launched rather slowly. However, with Optimus, Tesla's unveiled three generations of the bot in just two years, with the next gen expected to arrive early next year according to recent updates. The development speed is truly remarkable. Three major redesigns and four hand upgrades in just two years. It is absolutely mind blowing. You gotta understand that this is a fully functional humanoid robot, a technology far more complex than making an electric vehicle, an area that Tesla already has extensive experience in. This is proof of Tesla's intense focus and substantial investment in this product. It's clear that electric vehicles alone can't make Tesla worth $25 trillion, but Optimus might make that a reality. As we mentioned earlier, most people express the desire to own at least two Optimus. This aligns perfectly with what Elon said, confident that once the Tesla bot hits the market, every person's going to want to own one, even more, leading a robot-to-human ratio of 1 to 1 or even 2 to 1. My goodness, this sounds crazy and a bit exaggerated, but when you look at real-world demand, that's not a fairy tale at all. Right now, Tesla Bot is being trained for two primary roles, homemaker and Tesla worker. While Tesla is gradually deploying thousands of Optimus units in the factories for training, we'd like to focus more on its role as a homemaker. As we can see, the tasks that Optimus is currently performing, like watering plants, folding clothes, receiving packages, serving drinks, that's all done in under two minutes. This is just its current stage. These times will be further reduced as Optimus's hands continue to improve. Its highly dexterous hands, already just slightly less capable than a human's, are set to be fully automated by next year. Now, you might be wondering why Optimus does tasks so quickly despite its limited mobility. This is partly because its hands and brains are already working very efficiently. Many tasks don't require much movement. For example, it can fold thousands of shirts while staying in one spot, only moving when it needs to put them away in the closet. For tasks that require movement like carrying goods or cleaning the house, more complex duties, Optimus will still be able to complete them in a very short time. This is because Elon and Tesla engineers have stated that Optimus's speed will undoubtedly increase up to 5 miles an hour compared to its current speed of 2.2 miles an hour. By the time Optimus reaches customers, its performance specs are expected to be as close to perfect as possible. At this stage, however, the focus remains on improving its hands and redesigning Optimus to finalize the release of Gen 3 as soon as possible. Once again, please help us get to 135 subscribers. It's very important for us to stay motivated. Thanks again. Musk said it only cost Tesla 10 grand to make an Optimus robot, and he's planning to sell them to customers for $20,000. That means for every 100,000 sold, Elon makes a billion bucks. Pretty wild, because he said he plans to make billions of Optimus, turning Tesla into a $25 trillion company. Building a humanoid robot isn't like putting a Model Y on the assembly line. It's obviously a lot more challenging since it's AI. But Elon keeps saying Optimus is going to cost half the price of an electric vehicle. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like you know, ten or twenty thousand dollars. 
The truth we can't deny is that robots still haven't gained widespread acceptance among most people. In our opinion, the main reason for this is the lack of achievements or evidence proving that they're only truly useful for customers who've got the money to spend. No one's trying to shell out 20 grand for a robot that functions like a toy that just moves from one part of your house to the other. Now, some ballers might be buying it, but the majority of us aren't. From a certain perspective, we see that Boston Dynamics Atlas has been highly regarded for its agility. It's one of the first robots to convince people as it's demonstrated the ability to do complex tasks like parker and transporting goods, skills that most robots, including the Optimus, still can't do. However, its high price tag, around 150 Gs, equivalent to two Model S cars, makes it pretty inaccessible. That's part of the reason it hasn't gotten traction and essentially been shelved despite being developed over several decades now. And we're not just talking the Atlas, it's tough to find any robot priced under 50k, and that's what makes Optimus stand out. Elon's mentioned at least three times that the price is going to be half of an electric car, with Tesla making it for just 10 grand. It, it is expected to cost much less than a car. We'll just bring so, it directly to the right here. Uh, I would say probably less than $20,000 would be my guess. When talking about a price tag of $20,000 for something in Tesla, it's really unbelievable and there's no guarantee that Elon can maintain this price when he's always the person who breaks his promises about timelines and the amount of money that customers have to pay. But for Optimus, we have a basis to believe this price when almost all the expensive tech on Optimus is not purchased from suppliers, meaning that Tesla will transfer a lot of things they do from EVs to their humanoid robots. Uh, relatively speaking, so... Tesla has the production capability, it has the engineering capability, and it has the AI hardware and software capability. Um, and even the most optimistic estimates that I've seen for, for Optimus. Reusing existing manufacturing components allows Tesla to cut their costs in making Optimus much more quickly than other companies once again giving Tesla the edge in the race. Efficiencies gained from making robot cars and automotive manufacturing robots will immediately translate into the humanoid robot project. Like any groundbreaking technology, humanoid robots come with their own set of challenges and ethical considerations. The potential replacement of human workers raises concerns about job security and unemployment. Striking a balance between human employment and automation will be crucial to ensure a smooth transition. Ethical considerations become especially important when robots are used in sensitive environments for personal companionship. As the robots get more advanced and capable, questions arise about privacy, consent, and ethical responsibility will all inevitably arise. The initial use cases are likely to be in industrial settings where human labor is exhausting, expensive, and hard to come by. These are the environments where robots can get fine-tuned and optimized while still performing productive work, generating revenue, or cutting costs. Again. This is an era where Tesla's got the advantage over its competitors. The company has big factories where it can deploy Optimus without need to sign complicated agreements with outside partners. Elon has laid out a bold vision for the Optimus robot, expecting it to change the way we live and work. The combination of advanced technology and low production costs allow Tesla to offer these robots at an affordable price along with enticing promotional programs. If successful, Optimus could be more than just a consumer product. It could become a companion that enhances the quality of life and frees people up from boring, mundane, and downright dangerous tasks. Despite the many doubts and challenges, the progress Tesla has made with Optimus in such a short amount of time has put them at the forefront of the humanoid robot field. The combination of advanced technology and production capabilities helps Optimus become an integral part of daily life for people in the future. So, we want to ask you, the viewer, and by the way, thanks for watching. What do you think is the most important aspect of developing a humanoid robot like Optimus? Is it the utilities, the mobility, the AI, or the ability to interact with us humans? Thanks for watching our video. If you found the content helpful and want to explore more exciting info about Tesla EVs, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video.